This video was recorded live on my Twitch channel. Check out all of my live streams down in the description below. Gran Turismo 1, we're back. We are back playing the original GT. The original Gran Turismo. Two years ago, when I first reached 100 subscribers on YouTube, I did a playthrough of this game, and it was fucking terrible. Nobody watched it. Now, I'm a little bit better. Just a tiny little bit. But I figured, you know, for a thousand subscribers as a thank you, and for people to actually who actually watch my shit now and to see me play this game... We're going to play Gran Turismo 1. As you can tell by the intro, we're playing the NTS NTSEJ version. So, released in 1997 on the Sony PlayStation. Uh, this game pretty much changed the face. Yeah, Special Operations Foxhound. Revolve, god damn it! <laughs> the fucking... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, Special Operations Foxhound. <laughs> Revolver Ocelot. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to fucking copy and paste that shit. <laughs> Anyways, um, so the game that changed the face of, like, racing games forever and ever and ever and ever. Hi, everybody watching this live on Twitch and anyone watching this on YouTube as an upload. So this is our main menu. We have Craig Arcade, Gran Turismo Mode, Replay Theater, and Option. I'm going to go to Options real quick. So, as I mentioned before, I am playing the NCSCJ version. The menu music is all different for those who don't know. And the menu music slaps in this version. As much as I love the one I grew up with, which was the North American version, the music in this version fucking slaps. So I am playing this on an emulator, EPSXE, because I tried to readjust the window on um, the Ogato to fit the retro overlay, and it just didn't look good. So playing on an emulator. And before, not, not real PlayStation, uh, this playthrough suck already. 
If I don't get the vacuum car, uh, that's Gran Turismo 2, bro. Also, hi everybody, Francisco, Celica, Tusho, Mikhail, Slushy, anyone else I missed? I'm pretty sure I missed some people. Reaper, Jason, the two Jasons. But, uh, yes. We got our options adjusted, and let's go to Gran Turismo mode. Now, the way I'm going to do this is, like, I'm going to try to use, I'm, tr I'm going to try to not use cars that I've driven in the original playthrough. That's the idea here. And as you can see, here is our wonderful overworld. It's just a generic city. We got the home, got all the dealerships here. And in the first part of the playthrough, we're going to buy, a new, we're going to buy our first car. I'm going to say we're going to buy a new car, but no, we're going to buy our first car because, um, the non-Japanese dealers, so like Aston Martin, Chrysler, TBR, Chevrolet, they only sell new cars. All the Japanese dealers, Mazda, Nissan, Subaru, Honda, Mitsubishi, and Toyota, they all sell used cars. So I'm going to go ahead and spoil this right now. In the original playthrough, I went ahead and bought... <laughs> God fucking damn it, Celica. <laughs> I bought this um, Honda Prelude Si. What? This one right here. So we will not be buying a Prelude. And also Rhino bought a Prelude in his replaythrough. So we're not going to buy a Prelude. Let's see what else we got here. Del Sol, okay. These are all just Del Sols, I'm guessing. Yeah, they are. Yo, Rick, what's up, dude? So, basically 170 versus 130. Okay. Dorito? <laughs> oh, that's the Prelude we just looked at, okay. Uh, that's an EG. If it was red, I'd say we're buying the EG, but... No Shingo mode for us. So it's just another prelude, but more horsepower. Got it. Also, yeah, that's the weird thing about the emulator is that the the, the used car dealership um, text scrolls up and it goes over the, the other text. It's just an emulator thing. Nothing else you can do. But yes, um, as you can see, it's all... Yo, Rick, with the four months. Thank you so much, dude. Thanks for resubscribing. Really appreciate it. What do we have in Mitsubishi? So as you can see, it's all Japanese currency, so that's why there's two extra zeros, or three. No, it's a two, yes, yeah, two extra zeros. But yeah, Mitsubishi Mirage, Mitsubishi GTO. That would be overkill for the beginning. The stretch on the screen chat is sending me. <laughs> but yes. Um, oh, also Rocket um, Volticity? Oh. Oh, Voltic, sorry. The YT at the end together made me kind of confused. So I was like, okay, what the hell are you trying to say? But Rocket Voltic, welcome to the stream. Welcome for your first time here. The white chat, it kind of has to be, unfortunately. Like, for some reason, um, Streamlabs is not letting me change my chat overlay. I don't know why. So I have to use this restream one. It's really awkward. Toyota, let's see what we got here. Of course, we can go with the Overkill Supra in the beginning. Yeah, I don't really want to do that. We could get 11. We could get a Trino. I only know that it's a Trino because the text is different on these two. So it's just Supras and Tofu cars, basically. So what do we got next? So we'd like the Toyota, Mitsubishi, Honda, Subaru. Okay, we can't afford shit in Subaru right now. It's all too expensive. So as you can probably tell, a lot of these songs are... These are the original um, songs that were eventually remixed in GT2 to GT4. So like some of the arcade themes or some of like the simulation mode themes or some of the like the E-City theme. This is like the GT2 main menu theme of simulation mode, I believe. So anyways, Nissan, let's see what we got here. Just a bunch of Sylvia's. Yeah, Subaru. <laughs> yeah, we can't go ghetto rallying right now, sadly. We, we can't afford it. It's all good. So it's just a bunch of Sylvia's. Ooh, we can buy a Primera if we want. I only know it's a Primera because of the 2.0 TE. Hmm, okay. We can get a Skyline. <laughs> God damn it, Reaper. Skyline GTS? Mm, I feel like this would be... <laughs> God damn it, Silica. Um, I feel like those would be overkill for the Sunday Cup. 
So anyways, what do we have here? RX-7s, Miatas. Okay. I know because of the normal V-Special, blah, blah, blah. Like, that's all we can really afford. Okay. Not many Mazda cars in the beginning here. We could get an FC in the very beginning, which would be nice. You started with the GTR? Nice. <laughs> I always started with the Supra. Every time as a kid, I'm like, ooh, this car has a lot of power, blah, blah, blah. Can we get some Celicas? Uh, you can buy a new one. It costs 3.2 million, though. Doesn't have the Wang, but it's still really nice without the Wang. All right, I know what I'm buying. We're buying the fucking Primera. I don't know why. <laughs> like, I've never used this car in, in... I've only used this car in arcade mode, I think, in the original playthrough. But since we didn't buy it in simulation mode in the original playthrough, we're, we're going to go with the Primera. So let's go home and check it out. There's our wonderful Primera in gray. It's an FF, 148 PS, which I don't know what the translation is to horsepower. I don't think it's that much of a difference, like, in terms of translation, but, um, or, or whatever. But, yeah, 1,200 kilograms. It's all right. Not a bad car. I think it'll be good enough for our start. Yeah, 148 PlayStations. Yeah, bro. All the PS5s are being hogged up by, by the Primera here. So, yes, yeah, so you can see the information there, and you can get in the car, that's what that means. And, uh, yeah, let me go ahead and just save the game. And that was all of the used cars and cars we could buy. You can't buy any new cars in this game in the very beginning, unless, like, unless you do some trickery. Not, like, cheating, but, like, at default, doing absolutely nothing, you, you cannot buy anything. Yo, Jag, what's up, dude? So, yes, that is our very first car.